All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about a bit of news that Google Ads announced. So uh, Google has a shopping insights tool where you can actually look at um, overall product trends, brand trends, search trends over time. Um, so a little bit different than the keyword planner. It's going to be more of a, it's going to be more graph based rather than numbers based. But um, you can see, you know, you can see here, explore product search trends. So you can see product search trends for different times of the year, uh, for different product categories, all sorts of different things. So um, if you go to their, I'll put this in the video description, but if you go to this URL up at the top, you can see their news article about it. Um, so scroll down a little bit. What they're saying is, you know, they already had this tool, but the new version is going to include data for more than 55,000 products and 45,000 brands, nearly 5,000 categories. So completely free tool. You don't need to do anything to be able to use it. Um, and they use their example here. So it's for backpacks. So they're, you know, comparing three different backpack brands, Jansport, you know, I'm not sure how to say that, and the North Face. So three different backpack brands, and then you can see some more down here. Um, and it's showing just, you know, how MCM, you can click on MCM specifically, and you can just see how searches kind of go over time. Um, so MCM actually, you know, picked it up great here in December. Um, and you can see that, you know, just how different brands kind of trend over time. So I'm going to show you a few examples here, how to use the tool, everything like that. Um, the URL is just shopping.thinkwithgoogle.com. It will pull up this page. You don't need to be signed in to use it. You don't need, you know, you don't need even a Google account to use it, it's completely free to use. So if we click on it first, um, you can just see they have all these different categories here. Um, you could also search things. So, you know, just you could search something like the North Face and it's going to pull up the brand, the North Face. Um, so it it's only going to pull in big brands. It's not going to have a lot of like smaller websites, smaller brands. It's going to be big, well-known brands that are trending in searches, um, but they have tons of them. So if it's a brand you work with, if it's a brand you're selling products for, um, you can definitely find it here. Uh, one thing I want to show you here is just if we go to browse categories, uh, you could do something like this. So animals and pet supplies, we'll see subcategories and we'll just click pet supplies. You can go even more, but we'll just click pet supplies. So what it's going to do is it's going to show you first the one month searches over time. So, you know, nothing crazy here, but what you could do is just click one year and just see the overall search volume over time one year for pet supplies. So basically it just looks like steady growth. Um, you know, nothing crazy. It just looks like it's kind of peaking now. It's going to continue to peak probably, um, you know, over time. So it's just trending growth here. So that's all that's showing. Um, but what you can do is break it down even further um, by looking at top brands. Uh, so let's just say you want to add Purina here. It's going to add it to the comparison. You want to add PetSafe here. It'll add it to the comparison. So if you want to add Blue here, so this is actually the food I feed my animals. So you can add Blue there. And we'll just add, and we'll just keep those for right now. So if we scroll to the top, you can see here we have four different things we're comparing here. And you can barely see anything at the bottom. So these lines at the bottom, this red, this orange, things like that, are actually representing these brands. Uh, so what you could do is click on Pet Supplies over here. Just get rid of it. And then you're able to compare Purina versus PetSafe versus Blue for the entire year, see how things are trending. And you could do this with any brand, any category, and just see you know how things overall are trending. If you scroll down, you could see the interest by location um, for each specific brand. You could see, you know, search volume by location, which generally just ends up being, you know, Texas, California, New York, um, because they're the most pop, you know, have the most people searching there. So um, if we keep scrolling down, you can just see, you know, searches by device for the different brands, overall volume. Um, and if this is relevant for you, one thing you could do is just subscribe. They have a sample here, so you could see, you know, what your custom product report would look like. So it's going to say products you follow, um, you know, how things are trending. This is showing cameras here, mobile searches. Um, so it's definitely a great competitive tool. Um, so you could look at your competitors and make sure you're trending upwards. And it's also something you can look at to see, you know, where product trends are going, where product category trends are going, and just try to find, you know, different ways to sell things different times of the year. Uh, so the next example I want to show you, um, so I just opened another page here, is we're going to come in here and let's go to electronics. Uh, so we'll scroll down a little bit and I'm just going to do video game consoles. So pretty broad, but a lot of people know, you know, Xbox, uh, PlayStation, uh, Nintendo has the Wii, different games. You know, I know they have uh, <clears throat> different types of games as well, handheld games. So we're looking at the United States. One month, uh, it's showing, you know, what it's what the trends are for the last month. If we go to one year, it'll show all video game consoles for the last year. So 
what you can see here is holiday season, November 19th to the 25th, you know, really all the way through. This is when it peaks, um, I guess, you know, right during Black Friday probably is when it's that very highest when people are searching for video game consoles for probably parents searching for their kids um, to get deals before uh, basically before Christmas, before Hanukkah. Um, so we scroll down here a little bit. You can see the top brands. So basically dominated by Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft. Uh, same thing, interest by location. You can subscribe. So a uh, pretty cool way to look at, you know, different different search trends over time for different types of products and brands. Uh, one thing you could do, so over the one year period, it's going to show shopping season here. So what you could do is click and just say, okay, let's see how this performs during Labor Day. So during Labor Day, pretty steady, probably peaks, you know, September 3rd, and it goes down. So this is just showing its overall trend for this year. Um, so you can look back and see, you know, when maybe you want to spend your most ad dollars for it. Obviously, this is a short period of time. Um, so a little bit better would probably just be Black Friday. So Black Friday, you can see. So things just peak right here. It's showing Thursday, November 23rd, things peak. So um, I guess that would be basically Thanksgiving from last year. And then Friday, things are very high still. Saturday, they go down a little bit. And Sunday still popular, it looks like. So uh, you can kind of look at different search trends, different shopping trends over time for just for even specific days. So it really helps you understand, you know, how people are looking for your products, are looking for your services. So last but not least, I want to show you a real quick one here. So let's just say you're more of a niche. You don't have, you know, some big category here. One thing you could do is just try to search it and see what comes up. So I search PPC advertising. That's basically what I focus on for the most part. Um, and it's just going to pull up advertising and marketing. Uh, so if you click on it, you can try to browse, you know, more categories, but they don't really break it down further from here. Um, but what this is telling me, so this is just looking at one month. And what it's showing me is that things are very high during the week and things are very low during the weekend. So if you're selling marketing services, if you're selling a marketing product, a software, you might want to think about just running your ads, you know, Monday through Friday, because it looks like here, Saturday, Sunday, things are basically cut in half. Saturday, Sunday, things are basically cut in half. So uh, maybe you just want to focus on the days when more people are searching uh, rather than trying to fight for, you know, people who are looking on the weekends. Uh, it also depends on how your sales sales staff works. So you can kind of combine all of this data with your own business. And I would highly recommend using the Shopping Insights tool. Subscribe to any relevant categories. You can just download all the data. Um, but if you come over here to the article, they have different ways you can use uh, you know, the, the shop Google Shopping Insights tool. You can subscribe to personalized reports. Um, so highly recommend getting, you know, using this if it makes sense for you. They've released a better version right before the holiday season. So you definitely want to use it for, you know, any Google Shopping campaigns you're running and different things like that to try to find when the best days to really reach people are when they're really searching for your products. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, just a quick little news item here, but I wanted to tell you about this tool. Uh, I've been using it for about the past hour, so I've been having some fun with it. Um, and you should definitely use it and see if, if there's any way you can use it and incorporate it in your own business. So uh, thank you for subscribing to our channel and thanks for watching our video.